So now let me ask you this: um, uh-huh. with the popularity of the show called Forge and Fire, yeah, how 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 much? Uh, has your business grown? Has it stayed the same? It stayed about the same. There's a lot of interest okay. in it, right? A lot of interest in bladesmithing. Right, right, right. I think that there's the show's awesome. Right. It also spreads like some ideas that are not strictly good ideas. Okay. okay. <laughs> like some of the testing they do and stuff. Right, right, it's right. just for drama. Like you test it to destruction. Mm-hmm. But like cutting a dry cow bone in half or a giant block of ice right, right. is a horrible thing okay. to do to a sword. Okay. Right? Okay. Like, but, so, it's cool. It's generated a lot of questions for right, us. Right, right, Like, right. should you do this with a sword? Yeah, because... Only I, if you're trying to break it. Of course. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yep. And I think that's one of the things they do. They want to see if it could still kind of withstand right. the test of it. Exactly, right, exactly. Right. Which is cool. Right. It makes good TV, but... Right. Is not the criteria for what makes a good sword, okay. right? <laughs> so if you were to test a sword, yeah, in in, in 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 like to withstand like you know you know battle use, yeah. And I think that's what the show is trying to say is like totally. You know, you don't want it to fail in the middle of a battle. No. You want it to withstand the whole battle. Yeah. What kind of test would you what would you say would be an appropriate test sure. for a sword? I would say what you want is some flexibility mm. in the sword, right? So. This is a Viking sword. Right. Can you see it? Right, yes. Yep, right? Uh-huh. So you don't want your sword to be too hard. Mm. Right? So we temper our stuff to 50 okay. Rockwell. Okay. You can make way harder swords than that. Right, there right. just weren't right, right, harder right. swords than that. Okay. <laughs> because they break of course. instead of bent right, a little right. bit. If you're in a battle, it's way better for your sword to take a little bend. Mm. Than for it to break. I see. Right? So I would say, like, having your sword a little bit softer would is better be accurate, than super hard. I see. Yep. Okay. Now, you know, with modern steels, we can make st- stuff that's super hard. Of course, of course. It's just totally ahistorical. Of course, <laughs> right? Of course. <laughs> All right, so tell us how can yeah. we find you guys online? Sure. So we're, uh, if you Google Arms and Armor, mm-hmm. our website is arms n armor.com. Uh-huh. Our website used to be armor.com, uh-huh. but we sold that stuff. <laughs> right? that's, that's, I'm, I'm it was that's a really a, cool website name. Right? Yeah, exactly. Now it's some cybersecurity firm or something. Of course, of course, exactly. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, so you can look us up there. Somebody that owns it like it's a florist or something. Right. It's like armor. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, we've got our whole collection mm-hmm. online. And then the Oakshot Institute, right. our nonprofit right. wing, also has an awesome website. We're doing cutting edge 3D modeling oh, nice. of historical swords uh-huh, uh-huh. so folks can check that out uh-huh, uh-huh. and uh, yeah we'd be excited to talk to anyone. Alright wonderful well thank you for your time. Oh thank you man.